Wild Bill Hickok! Hiya, folks. Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg corn pops. Cause here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pop! Kellogg's Corn Pop bring you Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. <laughs> Out across the frontiers of the early West came the pioneers, intent on building new peaceful homes for their families in the land of the buffalo and the Indian. But always with them came the riffraff, gamblers and gunmen. It was a constant fight between good and evil, a fight that often broke into open warfare. And into this conflict, always on the side of law and order, rode the greatest fighter of them all, scout, sharpshooter, United States Marshal, Wild Bill Hickok. Early one afternoon, on a new assignment, Wild Bill rode a trail into the fertile Bitter Creek Valley. By his side, as always, was his faithful deputy and companion, Jingles. Well, there's a the town of Bitter Creek, Jingles. Only a couple of more miles. Well, what I want to know is, what's going to happen when we get there? You know as much as I do. Mayor Fogarty of Bitter Creek wrote the government saying there, there was plenty of trouble and the marshal was needed. And, of course, they had to send you. You still have time to turn back if you want to. Oh, you know I can't do that. I'm hungry. It's half past dinner time and I still ain't had no breakfast. It's always thinking of your stomach, aren't you? Well, my stomach's bigger than yours. I could eat a running steer horns and all. <laughs> you know, just to look at it, there's nothing wrong with this valley, Jingles. Plenty of good grazing. Hey, 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 Bill, that, that sure don't sound like mine blasting. It's not. Notice how they're cutting through that rocky hill? Well, sure enough, blasting for a right-of-way. Hey, means they're building a railroad spur into this valley. Just about the best thing that could happen to the ranchers. Look out! Jingles, right above us! The avalanche coming! Look out, Jingles! Right! Hey, 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 hey! Oh. was too close, Bill. Just way too darn close. Another second and we'd have been buried. Oh, when I find out who set off that blast, I'm going to stomp him silly. Hey, down there. You all right? We lived through it. Get down here, mister, and who do you think you are? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Just, just let me get my breath. I'm Ed Johnson, railroad foreman. Hope you're not her. Well, we ain't, but somebody's going to be as soon as I get out of this saddle. Hold it, Jingles. Let Johnson explain. Well, I, I don't know what happened. We we're clearing the right of way, but that blast went off way ahead of time. I can't understand it. Oh, you can't, huh? Let him finish, Jingles. Maybe it was an accident. Yeah. Now, who's that coming? Oh, that's Sam Cox. He's a cattleman. Owns the Circle C over west. Oh, oh boy. Oh. You let it, are you, Johnson? Now, hold on, Mr. Cox. This is between me and these two men. It's between you and every rancher in this valley. This ain't the first time it's happened. I know that. See here, Mr. Cox, accidents are bound to happen. Yeah, like the one yesterday and the day before. You and your railroad gang blasting and killing innocent people. I can't account for what's happened any more than you can. But we're here to build a railroad, and that's all. And deliberately kill everybody that gets in your way. Yeah, and what about us? Uh, shut up, you. Huh? Well, Johnson, you've come as far as you're gonna go. Just what do you mean by that? I mean you've done your last killing. All right, Cox. If that's how you want it... It's just what I stay want. Stay away from that gun. What? What? I didn't even see you draw. Hey, you never saw Nat Winkett's eye either, only it happens in just as fast. <laughs> I'd advise you two saddle tramps to drift out of this valley. This ain't your business. The railroad gangs had their way long enough. Maybe. But there's going to be no more killing if I can help it. 
Hmm? Who are you? James Butler Hickok. Your new United States Marshal. Only most folks call him Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill? A name doesn't matter. Well, Mr. Hickok, I guess I'm as surprised as Cox is, but I'm mighty glad you've come. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this. I intend to. Right now, Mr. Cox is taking me into Bitter Creek to see Mayor Fogarty. And if anybody's got any ideas about shooting, forget them. Mayor Fogarty, this fella says he's the new marshal. Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? I sure didn't think they'd send you. Glad to meet you, Mayor. And this overgrown cowpoke is my partner, Jingles. Well, howdy, Mr. Mayor, howdy. He got a taste of what's happening, Mayor, not an hour ago. I'll tell it, Cox. It's about the railroad spur coming in. The ranches are fighting mad. Well, don't make sense. A railroad brings law and order. Better market for the cattle, land values go up. I know. But it's the way the railroad's going about coming in. Without regard for life or property. They already blasted the life out of three ranchers. Important people, Mr. Hickok, with families. Feelings running high. There's going to be a first-class war if somebody doesn't stop it. Mayor, uh, just two were these men that were killed. All big ranchers. First was Jim Turner three weeks ago. Rock slide caught him in a canyon. Art Wheeler got it the same way. And yesterday, a premature blast killed Matt Parker. His wife, Ma Parker, is out at the MP ranch, all alone now. We'll have a look around. Oh, Mr. Hickok, I've had an office rigged up for the new marshal. First building past the feed store. You and your deputy can bunk there. Well, we could uh, camp out. Certainly not. You'd be much better off in this office. Much better off. Come along, I'll show it to you. All right. Come on, Jingles. I'd rather look at a good place to eat. We're in trouble, Mozo. We get a marshal down here, and it turns out to be Wild Bill Hickok. That's bad? Mm, sure, it's bad, you chowderhead. Just when we got a war started between the ranchers and the railroad, this has to happen. We got the ranchers scared. They're starting to sell out for next to nothing. And along comes the greatest troubleshooter in the West. Yeah. What do we do now? Get out? No, we don't get out. The boss is out to get every acre in this valley one way or another. And if Wild Bill Hickok gets in the way... He's liable to find himself in real big trouble. Howdy, partners. This is Panhandle Jim, and we're sure getting a real lot of enjoyment out of this Wild Bill Hickok show, aren't we? Now, in my left hand, I'm holding a big box of Kellogg's Corn Pops... And with my right hand, I'm digging in. Now, you rangers who have corn pops in the pantry, go out and get them right now. I want to have a little gab fest with you young'uns who haven't tasted Kellogg's corn pops yet. Here's what you're missing. Corn pops are golden hearts of corn, all popped up big and sassy. They're crisp and crunchy, and listen to this. They're already sweetened for you. Eat them right out of the box, or for some real chow at breakfast, in a bowl with milk. No sugar needed, mind you. The sweetening's already there. Your partner back with the corn pops yet? Good. Ask him for a handful. Now, how's that for a treat? Ever taste anything as downright good as Kellogg's corn pops? Now, tomorrow, sure, you'll want to saddle up and ride for the store. Load up on Kellogg's corn pops. So you'll have plenty around for breakfast and snacks. Now listen to this little saying I always use. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Now let's sit back and see what all the shooting's about. Now, here are Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles as they ride into the railroad construction camp, center of the war between the railroad and the ranchers. Men are working awful late. They'll keep at it till dark. Hey, did you notice they're all wearing guns? Yeah, just in case the ranchers come calling. Let's cross the tracks here. Go on, boy, go on now. There ain't nothing gonna hurt you. Get over there. 
Oh, Holy jumping wash hoppers off the track, Bill. <laughs> that engine isn't moving, Jingles. Whoa, settle down, you hammer-headed crow bait. Now, whoa, whoa. Now, what's that whistling about? I think we better have a look in the engine cab and find out. <laughs> come on, come on, boy. Get over there, boy. Whoa. Come on, now. Easy. Hi there, mister. Well, hello there, Sonny. I didn't know they grew engineers your size. Oh, well, I'm grown up. I'm ten years old. Ah, so is you causing all that ruckus. Well, don't blow it again now. I'm Jerry Johnson. My dad's the foreman of the railroad crew. Uh-huh. Him and us had an interesting meeting this afternoon. Well, hello there. Well, evening to you, Mr. Johnson. Evening. Hello, Jingles, Mr. Hickok. Hi. Jerry, this is Jingles and Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill? Gee. <laughs> We've been getting acquainted. Easy, boy, easy. Mr. Johnson, we had a talk with Mayor Fogarty in town. He didn't paint a pretty picture. Well, it ain't pretty. I wish there's more I could tell you than that my crew didn't come out here to start trouble. Now, why should they? Well, just the same. People are getting killed, and you're getting blamed. I'd take the blame for any negligence, but there's been none. Call them accidents if you will, but there's something going on out here that none of us can understand. You think somebody else is behind this, then? Well, there's no use saying something I don't know. Well, the families of the men might help. We'll be in town, Mr. Johnson, in case you need us. Well, I can tell you this, Mr. Hickok. If the ranchers come fighting, we'll fight back. I'm here to see that this railroad goes through and on schedule. Good luck to you. See you later, Jerry. So long, Jerry. Now you go easy on that whistle. Goodbye, Wild Bill. Goodbye, Jingles. Hi, get a hoe. Up, boy. Up. Well, Jingles, we didn't learn anything there. No, and what's more, I'm downright disappointed. Why? Well, didn't you smell that cook shack back there? Johnson could have at least invited us for supper. <laughs> Maybe you'd rather have supper with that rancher, Sam Cox. Not on your life. Cox has got a face like a mountain goat, and what's more, I don't like him. Wait, Jingles. There's a horse coming. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, boy. Ready? Ooh. Wild Bill! Yeah! Over here! There's trouble coming. What kind of trouble? A bunch of ranchers are gunning for the railroad crew working at Stony Pass. They'll be there any minute. Up the track? About three miles. The crew ain't got a chance. Thought you ought to know. Well, come on then. Not me. Forget him, Jingles. Get your guns free and come on. Hey, hey, hey! Stretch, you hammerhead, stretch! <laughs> Bill, there ain't nobody around here, not even a crew. Jingles, pull up. Whoa, boy, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what do you make of it? Well, I'm not sure. Either the crew's gone. Look how bushwhacker. Jingles, hit the dirt. Spook the horses. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Behind this rock, Jingles. Bill, that gotcheered rider back there was nothing but a decoy. It's a trap. Keep down. Stay in Gopher here ain't helping. There's one that won't give us any more trouble. Well, it's getting the darker in a stack of black cats. How can you see? The rifle shots up there help. Well, if I get a beat on them dried gulch and hoot owls, there won't be any more flashes. Wait. Listen. Horses, they're riding off. We might as well round up our horses. Well, ain't we going after them, Bill? No, it's too dark. Besides, we've got a lot to learn. Well, ain't that the truth. You know, Mayor Fogarty told us the last man killed was Matt Parker. Let's look up the Parker spread and have a visit with Ma Parker. Well, there ain't much I can tell. Matt was moving some cattle away from the railroad land and the blast got him. Of course, them railroad varmints said it wasn't their fault. That's what we're here to find out. Well, what are you going to do now, Ma? Well, Mr. Cox has offered to buy the ranch. Price ain't much. You're thinking of selling to Sam Cox? Might as well. Oh, he's such a kind man, helping all the folks that's in trouble. And he's buying the other ranches, too. Yes, from the families of the men that was killed. He offered what cash he had. Oh, they'll sure be needing it. But with the railroad, this land will be worth plenty, Ma. With them intruders sneaking, marauding, and killing? Looks like Sam Cox doesn't mind living with it. We're sorry to have bothered you, Ma. Oh, no mind. Ordinarily, I'd cook you up some vittles, but I got in a heart for it now. Vittles? You would? Forget it, Jingles. Oh. We understand, Ma. Bill, Bill, somebody's at the window. 
Why, it's Johnson's boy, Jerry. Wow, Bill, I've been looking all over for you. Jerry, what are you doing here? Dad said I might find you at one of the ranches. He didn't dare come around the way folks feel. What is it, Jerry? Somebody stole a whole lot of boxes of blasting powder from the railroad storehouse. Blasting powder? Now, who'd have done that? That's what I want to know and why. Dad thought you ought to know. I came as soon as I could. You did right, Jerry. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that powder turned up real soon. <laughs> Shove the powder boxes up under the building. All of it. Now, forget you're the mayor and give me a hand. Shut up. I'm the boss. And I'll settle Hickok for good. I wondered why you gave Hickok this place for an office, Fogarty. Get moving, will you? All right. <clears throat> One of the powder boxes busted open when we dumped it here. Get a hold of it. Drag it out of sight. Uncoil a fuse. Set it good. <laughs> when all that stuff goes off, there won't be nothing left of them. Cox. Hickok and Jingles just rode up out front. Well, fuse is set. All it takes is a match. There. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. I knew it, Bill. I knew that Sam Cock was behind it all the time. You did, Jingles? It's nothing but a land grab, and if you're asking me, which you generally It's one don't... thing to suspect Cox, and another to prove his guilt. Get your boots off and let's get some shut eye while we can. All right, all right. Just as soon as I get some air in this forsaken place the mayor calls an office, I... Careful, Jingles. An open window's a good target. Hey, hey. Seems I smell something burning. Powder smoke. And there's a fuse along the outside of the building. We're set to go up. Holy jumping horn flogs. Let's get out of here. Wait, Jingles. Not yet. Oh, what, Bill? But that fuse is going fast. Somebody wants us dead. All right, let them have us dead. Oh, Bill, are you plumb loco? Hold it, I said. But it's going off any second. Now, Jingles, let's go. When it comes to excitement, it's tough to do better than Wild Bill. And when it comes to eating, you can't do better than Tasty Kellogg's Corn Pops, the cereal that's already sweetened for you. Say, I'll bet you young'uns know how those ranch hands eat after a day on the range. They eat good and they eat plenty, because they need plenty of vitamins and minerals after working hard. And vitamins and minerals in the grub you eat are mighty good for you, make you big and strong. Well, Kellogg's Corn Pops, good tasting as they are, contain lots of the things you need. B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. And that means you can eat all you want. Those golden hearts of corn are puffed up big and crisp. Out of the box or out of a bowl with milk, you don't use any sugar, because the sweetening's already there, and plenty of it. Saying you know that silver-like bag inside the box? Well, it's pure aluminum and keeps corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mark can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches. But best of all, and already sweetened for you, are Kellogg's Corn Pops. You know who loves pops. Let's say it together. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Now, let's get back to Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. Keep back in the brush where we can watch, Jingles. We're lucky the moon's out. My ears are still ringing from that blast back in town. You know, we didn't make it out of that office a second too soon. Hmm. Now, we'll just wait for their next move. But why here? I declare, Bill, you don't tell me nothing. Then I'll show you. Look down the hill, coming up from town. Merciful cat birds, a mob coming this way. Hey, they're heading for the railroad camp. It stood to reason they'd have it out tonight. <laughs> Look, coming down the hill, the railroaders, all of them. 
Oh, I, I want to be in between them. Or those two outfits get together, I swear well, I Well, that's don't. where we're going to be. Well, what? The only way to stop this war is to ride between them. But that can get awful danger. Some fool pulled the trigger. Let's go. Up, boy. Hey, hey. Well, well, where are we going? Right between them. But Bill, there's bullets flying around in there. We'll try to stop them. Stopping bullets ain't healthy. Fire, fire. You're shooting at the United States government. Now stop it. Hold on now. All of you. Yeah, you'd better do what Wild Bill says. Well, it's Hickok. What? Mr. Hickok, we we heard you was dead. Wild Bill Hickok. Uh, Ma, you here too? But we thought you was dead. The Johnson blew you up. Who told you that? Why, Mr. Cox and the mayor, the thought. Did they? Well, either I'm dead or they're lying. It was Johnson who told me about the stolen powder. So you're calling me a liar? Now look here, Hickok. It was a blast, all right, and Jingles and I were supposed to be in it. What's more, we know who said it. Well, who, Hickok? Sam Cox and Mayor Fogarty. Oh, are you gun-toting, Lobo? You can't prove that. Of course they can't. We haven't even been near any blasting powder. No, Fogarty? Let's have a close look at your fingernails. What do you mean? Or better yet, hold your hands out here. We'll touch a match to them and see if that black stuff under your nails doesn't explode like blasting powder. Better show your hands. Both of you. Why, I... I won't stand for this. <laughs> well, here's the match, Bill. Fogarty first. Well, Mayor, the match is waiting. Uh, uh, no, no, no. No, it was, it was Cox's idea, the whole thing. Oh, he's lying. It was Fogarty. No, no. Cox knocked the ranchers out, placed them under the falling rocks to make it look like the railroad crew did it. Go on, Mayor. Now tell us why. Freeze, Mr. Cox. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> tell him. The match is still burning. Uh, Cox did it. Uh, so we... Uh, so he could buy up all the land cheap. Oh, you double-crossing... Pull them apart. They're all through. I say they're all through. They'll be hanging from a cottonwood for morning. Get a couple of ropes. Now, now, just a minute, just a minute. It's about time a woman had her say. Now, ain't you ashamed of yourselves? Ain't you learned your lesson the same as I have? Ain't Wild Bill Hickok taught you that mob action ain't the way? You tell him, Ma. Now, you let the law take care of Cox and the mayor, and then we'll elect ourselves a honest, decent mayor. Ma's talking a lot of sense. Yeah, let's forget this is kind. Ma, you said it a lot better than I could have. Thanks. Well, we've got you to thank, Mr. Hickok, for everything. Say, Ma. As long as I'm spokesman for the Valley, it's time we apologize to you, Mr. Johnson. Well, coming from you, Miss Parker, that sounds mighty good. Ma. As a matter of fact, everyone's going to chip in and see to it that the railroad goes through on schedule. Ma. Now, what's on your mind, Jingles? Well, well, Ma, I recollect you saying something about cooking up a mess of vittles, and, well, I sure am hungry. Then come along. I'll cook you a supper. You won't forget the rest of your born days. You too, Mr. Hickok. We'll take you up on that, Mrs. Parker. Just as soon as Jingles and I put these two men where they belong. And he don't mean where they feed them fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. I hope you enjoyed our Wild Bill adventure today and that you'll be with us when we come around again next week. We've got a humdinger of a story, haven't we, Andy? Have we? I'm getting plum jittery just thinking about these fellas that we meet up with. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think corn pops are great. So long. See you next week. Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week, this same time, same station, when Kellogg's Corn Pops again bring you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Uh -huh.